Welcome to our podcast, where we will embark on a cosmic journey into the heart of one of the greatest mysteries of the universe, the eternal struggle between dark matter and dark energy. Today, we have the privilege of delving deep into this enigmatic battle with our esteemed guests, shedding light on the forces that shape the cosmos. Join me, Dr. Emily Black, as we unravel the secrets of the universe with our guests, Dr. Sophia Gray and Professor James White. Let's explore the cosmic showdown between dark matter and dark energy like never before. Thank you, Dr. Black. It's an honor to be here. To kick things off, I think it's vital to highlight the fundamental difference between dark matter and dark energy, which often confuses enthusiasts and scholars alike. While dark matter acts as a glue that holds galaxies together, dark energy is a mysterious force that's causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. Absolutely, Dr. Gray. And to build on that, the intriguing part about dark matter is despite it making up about 27% of the universe's mass energy content, it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it incredibly challenging to detect with our current technology. However, its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation, and the large-scale structure of the universe are observable, giving us clues about its presence. That's a fascinating point, Professor White. It seems like we're essentially observing the shadows of the unseen. Dr. Gray, considering your expertise in dark energy, how does this acceleration caused by dark energy play into the overall dynamics of the universe? Well, dark energy is even more elusive, accounting for approximately 68% of the universe's mass energy content. Its discovery in the late 1990s through observations of type 1a supernovae was revolutionary. It introduced the concept that not only is the universe expanding, but this expansion is also accelerating. The most accepted theory is that dark energy is a property of space itself, pushing galaxies apart at an increasing speed. Adding to Dr. Gray's points, this revelation has profound implications for the fate of the universe. It challenges our understanding of gravity and raises questions about the ultimate destiny of the cosmos. Will it keep expanding indefinitely, or is there a point where everything tears apart, the so-called Big Rip? The Big Rip. What a concept. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. But it's these very discussions that push the boundaries of our understanding and force us to think beyond conventional limits. Professor White, based on the current research and understanding of dark matter, how close are we to potentially detecting or even understanding its true nature? We're making strides with experiments and observations, like those conducted with the Large Hadron Collider and through indirect detection methods, observing cosmic rays. The challenge lies in the fact that dark matter doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces or light in a way we can easily observe. It's like trying to listen to a silent song. You know it's playing, but you can't hear it. However, developments in technology and theoretical physics are bringing us closer to understanding this enigmatic component of our universe. And on the dark energy front, we're exploring the use of more detailed cosmic microwave background measurements and studying galaxy distributions to understand the nature of dark energy. These studies help refine our models of the universe, offering clues into how dark energy works and its role in cosmic evolution. It sounds like both dark matter and dark energy are holding on to their secrets tightly, but with relentless pursuit, passion, and ingenuity, we're edging closer to unveiling the mysteries of the cosmos. Exactly, Dr. Black. And it's this pursuit that's so exhilarating. Every new discovery peels back a layer of the universe's mysteries. For instance, the use of quantum sensors is a promising area for detecting the effects of dark energy and dark matter on the fabric of space-time. Quantum sensors, you say? That's a game changer. The sensitivity of these devices could potentially allow us to detect the faintest signals of dark matter or the subtle expansion effects of dark energy. It's like fine-tuning our cosmic radio to finally catch the whisper of the universe. I love that analogy, Professor White. It brings to mind the concept of cosmic silence in a universe bustling with invisible forces. Speaking of forces, how do theoretical models reconcile the existence of dark matter and dark energy with the standard model of particle physics? 
great question, Dr. Black. Current theories suggest extensions to the standard model, such as supersymmetry, which predicts new particles that could account for dark matter. As for dark energy, it's a tougher nut to crack. Some physicists propose the existence of a quintessence field that permeates all of space. However, these are still hypotheses needing solid experimental backing. The quest for dark matter and dark energy is really a testament to human curiosity. We're looking for answers to questions about invisible components that form the majority of the universe. It's a humbling reminder of how much there is yet to understand and explore. Absolutely, Professor White. And it's this humility coupled with curiosity that drives science forward. Each experiment, each observation brings us closer to understanding the true nature of reality, even if it's just one small step at a time. Speaking of steps, let's talk about the technology propelling us forward. The advancements in telescope technology, for instance, have been monumental. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its ability to probe the early universe, poised to unlock secrets about dark matter and dark energy that we've only dreamed of understanding before. Indeed, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a leap forward in our observational capabilities. Its infrared sensitivity allows us to look back in time to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, offering a window into the formation of the first galaxies and, possibly, the role dark matter played in that epoch. It's fascinating to think about how much of our universe's story is still untold, waiting in those early cosmic moments for us to uncover. This ties back to the importance of multi-messenger astronomy, doesn't it? Using different types of astronomical observations to piece together the cosmic puzzle. Absolutely, Dr. Black. Multi-messenger astronomy is like having different senses for the universe. Just like you wouldn't get a full picture of the world with sight alone, relying on electromagnetic radiation alone won't reveal all the secrets of the cosmos. Gravitational waves, for example, have opened up a new avenue for understanding the universe's most cataclysmic events and could potentially provide insights into dark matter. Not to mention neutrinos. These elusive particles could carry information from the core of supernovae or the early universe, potentially offering clues about dark matter interactions that we can't get from electromagnetic observations alone. It's clear that unlocking the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy won't be the work of a single technology or approach, but a symphony of them, each playing its part in the grand orchestra of cosmic exploration. Speaking of symphonies, let's not forget the role of theoretical physics in this ensemble. While observational technology gives us the data, it's the theoretical models that help us make sense of what we're seeing. For example, theories about the nature of dark energy, whether it's a cosmological constant, as Einstein proposed, or something more dynamic, shape how we interpret observations. That's a crucial point, Dr. Gray. Theoretical physics provides the framework for understanding the universe. And when it comes to dark matter, there are several competing theories, from WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, to axions. Each theory predicts different properties for dark matter, which in turn directs our observational strategies. And with every experiment that fails to find evidence for these particles, we're not just hitting dead ends, we're actually narrowing down the possibilities, right? In a way, each failure is a step towards the truth, guiding us to refine our theories and look in new places. Exactly, Dr. Black. It's a process of elimination as much as it is discovery. The recent lack of detection for WIMPs at the sensitivity levels expected has caused a shift in focus towards axions and even alternative theories of gravity that could explain dark matter phenomena without invoking new particles. On the dark energy front, the mystery deepens with observations suggesting that its strength or the rate of expansion of the universe may not be constant over time. This has implications for our understanding of the cosmos on the most fundamental level and challenges the simplicity of the cosmological constant. So what you're saying is that there's a possibility dark energy could be dynamic, changing over time. That adds a whole new layer of complexity to our universe's story, doesn't it? 
absolutely, and it's a thrilling prospect for theorists. If dark energy's strength varies, then our models of the universe have to account for this dynamism. It could mean that dark energy interacts with matter or light in ways we haven't yet conceived. This opens up new avenues for both theoretical research and observational strategies to uncover these interactions. And let's not overlook the potential implications for the fate of the universe. If dark energy is indeed dynamic, its evolution could determine whether the universe continues to expand indefinitely, potentially leading to a big freeze, or if it might eventually collapse back on itself. That's a stark contrast in potential outcomes. It underscores the importance of understanding dark energy's nature. Do we have any observational strategies currently in play or planned that could provide insights into these questions? There are several key projects and experiments that hold promise. For instance, the Euclid mission by the European Space Agency aims to map the geometry of the dark universe, which could shed light on the nature of dark energy by observing how galaxies are distributed and how their light bends as it travels through the universe. Another noteworthy project is the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DSE, which seeks to create a three-dimensional map of the universe. By examining how galaxies cluster together and how their light is redshifted, DSE aims to measure the effect of dark energy on the expansion of the universe over time. With these ambitious projects underway, it seems we're on the cusp of potentially groundbreaking discoveries about dark matter and dark energy. It'll be fascinating to see how these observations will influence our theoretical models and vice versa. Indeed. This back and forth between theory and observation is the heartbeat of astrophysics. As we refine our understanding and our questions become more precise, our methods of exploring the cosmos need to evolve too. It's an ongoing dance of discovery. And in this dance, it's crucial to keep an open mind. The history of science teaches us that the most profound discoveries often come from unexpected directions. Who knows? The key to unlocking the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy might come from an entirely unanticipated source. A reminder of the excitement and unpredictability of scientific exploration. The universe has a way of keeping us on our toes, constantly challenging our assumptions and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. It's that very unpredictability that drives so much of our work. As we piece together the dark matter and energy puzzle, each new piece can radically shift our understanding of the universe. It's not just about filling in gaps, it's about reimagining the entire picture. Precisely, Dr. Gray. For instance, consider the implications of dark matter on our understanding of galaxy formation. Without it, current models simply can't account for the structures we observe. It's a humbling reminder of how much there is yet to learn. And let's not forget the role of technological advancements in this journey. As our tools get sharper, from telescopes to particle accelerators, our capacity to probe the universe deepens. This not only brings us closer to answering long-standing questions, but also raises new ones we hadn't thought to ask. The synergy between technology and curiosity cannot be overstated. Each discovery made possible by new technology propels us into deeper waters of inquiry, where the potential for groundbreaking revelations lies. It's this cycle of curiosity, discovery, and technological advancement that makes astrophysics such an exhilarating field. The mysteries of dark matter and dark energy are among the most profound challenges we face. But with each step forward, we edge closer to understanding the cosmos at its most fundamental level. As we draw today's discussion to a close, it's clear that the journey into understanding dark matter and dark energy is far from over. The path is riddled with complexities and uncertainties, but also with immense opportunity for discovery. Absolutely. The quest to comprehend these cosmic phenomena drives us not only towards scientific breakthroughs, but also towards deeper reflections on our place in the universe. It's a quest that reminds us of the power of human curiosity and our unrelenting pursuit of knowledge. As we look to the future, let's continue this journey with open minds and relentless determination. 
Thank you, Dr. Gray and Professor White, for your profound insights and thought-provoking discussion. And thank you to our listeners for joining us on this exploration of dark matter and dark energy. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning the cosmos.